Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Fault Line. I am back this week with a new video for you all. This week, very excitingly, I am doing a book review of the new snazzy sewing book from Named Clothing. Pretty excited to talk to you about this, and I, this book, I'm sure most people agree, has been long awaited and anticipated. So I'm pretty excited to be able to just kind of talk you through it and give you an idea of what is inside. So, here she is, here is the lovely, beautiful book. As usual, anything the name do has got absolutely gorgeous aesthetic. I just, ah, oh, swoon worthy, basically. Um, so, stuff about the book, it's quite chunky, um, as you will see. So at the front has got the kind of all the projects and then at the back, there's a pack of, you get your all your patterns. So they come printed out for you. So I'm just going to show it you a little bit closer so you can have a look. So the paper is quite um, like a, a kind of thinnish printer paper quality. Um, all the pattern pieces, as you can see from here, are it's a little bit bird of style. Um, everything is on pieces of paper, so you'll need to trace off. Um, one thing, if you look at this and think, "Oh, holy moly, I, I can't face, I can't face doing that." On their website you can get the PDF downloads of the particular patterns so that might be the way to go because um, it will be just a bit easier and I'm I'm assuming that they're that's part of it you get you can get the down the downloads because it's going to be other otherwise you trace off so about the book um, I will pop a link down below to, I was thinking what the easiest place was probably Amazon for everyone to buy it. It's currently priced at £18.20. Who knows by the time you watch this what time what, what price it will be. Um, so within the book you get 10 patterns. You get 10 patterns with the book, which is pretty good considering that the average price of one of their patterns is about this. So you get 10 for £18. 10 patterns they come with each pattern within the book comes in with two variations so with each one pattern you can make two different kind of variants but there are also tips and tricks within the book for over 50 different variants and different things that you can do with them so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about a few of my favorite projects in here show you the insides so you get an idea of the layout and the aesthetic and whether you want to buy it which I'm, I'm afraid I think you probably are going to want to buy it so like with everything with names it's beautifully done um, the inside at the beginning there's all the usual things you'd expect you know all the instructions and like things that you're going to need to make make things that's not the right word not instructions all the tools that you'll need to make things within the book there's also a kind of section with I mean, ba really basic instructions as well. So sort of t top tips and under stitching and what all of the markings mean on the pattern. So it's very comprehensive and really gives you kind of hold your hand through the process. So the thing that I like about the book, let me get into it, is that um, as, as, it, as you get f deeper into the book, the the projects become more complicated so the most simple projects are at the front of the book and the more complicated ones are at the back so um, the first one is a bag called the Numi bag um, which is here so each um, project has a lovely picture a description of the of the kind of bag then within that you get um, this page which has all the things that you're going to need to make from it a line drawing and um, then tell kind of step by step of how you're going to make it. So the nice thing about it is that if you have made a named sewing pattern before, which I'm sure a lot of you have, you it very much feels like their instructions. It feels very similar in that way. If I show you this page, you know, that looks very much like their instruction booklet. Um, anyone who hasn't used name clothing before, I can vouch that I think out of all of the sewing pattern companies they have one of the most comprehensive instructions I've ever used very simple very methodical really you know you're going to be comfortable and happy using these guys I have no doubt 
so the first one that I'm going to show you that I really loved um, is this one it is called the um, Sade blouse and tunic so this one is pretty nice um, the thing that I really loved about it um, let me show you another picture at the back because it kind of gives you two two views um, so I love the opening at the back here I thought that was really interesting the tie at the waist and then this sleeve that's got a kind of slit the whole way down I thought this was really beautiful and I definitely want to make this can you imagine this in like um like a double gauze or you could make it actually you could almost make it something sheer and it would feel like like a proper party outfit um I thought it was really beautiful so that is the top the other variant of that I think it is a variant is a sort of tunic so I'll show you it's quite a relaxed fit um quite boxy but I think using the similar pattern pieces you can make this alongside it so each I think each project is laid out with the kind of thing that you can do to tweak it and change it next door to it. So I'll show you another pattern that I really loved. Um, it is called, sorry, the, the layout of this is, it's called the U2 skirt and pinafore. So I'm just going to show you the pinafore of this because this was the thing that I got quite excited about. I just thought this was really such a fantastic oh such a good dress and um we went to the launch party of this book in oh gosh when was it end, end of October and um they had the sample in the shop at the party and it was so beautiful oh unfortunately I don't think it's going to shoot suit my kind of body shape but I love it and um Fiona Parker and I were talking about this and we think she should make it so I'm hoping that she will make it for me um right so the the thing that I also thought was quite interesting about this so alongside the sort of traditional um step by step you know with drawings they also have a page with um photographs which is interesting because they've never done that before and I thought this was really interesting sort of to have little photograph step by step. Um, right, another fantastic pattern that I'm going to show you is um, this one. And I'm now going to have to go back and find out what the name of the pattern is. Da, da, da. So this is the Ruska Knit Dress. And um, this is the variant with the tie on the front. So I thought this was such an interesting and really simple pattern and really just oh so good. Um, yeah, I love the tie knot at the front. It's actually pretty simple construction as well. So I don't actually think it would take you that long. And you can make it in lots of different things to make it look completely different. If you used a really drapey viscose jersey, um, it's gonna be kind of light and fluid then if you use something more structured like a ponty it's going to be quite kind of dramatic silhouette and I think you could definitely like play around with what you're doing with it and yeah I just think it's a really it's a goodie it's a goodie um another thing that I loved um I'm not sure that I would make this but I just think it's absolutely beautiful look at that I mean it's just oh and the photo shoots are so beautiful as well you feel like you're like flicking through a really expensive magazine i haven't mentioned the paper quality so it smells delicious i don't know about anyone else but i really have a thing about how how it's, how things smells um the inside is all matte the cover is gloss but kind of um not super glossy but kind of yeah like an eggshell gloss even though I know that's not a thing but it is in paint so yeah I really love this I love the ties down the front I love the ties on the sleeve I think this would be such an amazing party outfit and 
Yeah, I think the thing that's really nice about this book is they've sort of pared everything back and it's quite kind of simple, clean lines and nothing's too fussy. It's just kind of really thought, kind of, it's a very thoughtful book, I would say. Um, right, I'm going to show you one more. I don't want to show you too many because I feel like I'm kind of like spoiling, spoiling it for you. Um, so this is this Saraste shirt, shirt dress and top. So I'm going to show you the shirt dress, which I think is super cute. Um, I love the detail on the collar with that ruffle. I think it's beautiful. Um, it has the feeling, any pattern aficionados, um, it has a slight feeling of the grain line archer, but I think it's that little bit more feminine because you know, I think grain line's sort of more, it's definitely kind of got a slight kind of unisex feel to quite a lot of her patterns. But I think this is like the kind of girly version of the archer. Um, I loved that. And then from that, you can make this, which I think is so nice. I love it. For summer, I'm totally going to make this. I love the frill. I love how it gets, it's kind of quite dramatic and then it goes down, it's kind of tapers down into the seam. Um, princess seam, still granddad collar. Not actually super difficult in terms of construction. This will all be about the fabric that you want to use. Um, picking something sort of really lovely, I think will be key to this. So yeah, I mean, and then at the end, there's kind of um, the big one, which is the coat. So this is on the cover. I mean, this, I actually think of all the things within the book, this would be the thing that I would really want to make. And maybe that's the thing that I should I should do because it's really fantastic. Um, you can't see; it's very hard to see. If I bring it up really close, I wonder if you can see. Um, so you can see the lapel here, but there's actually seam lines of a, of the second half of the lapel, which I think is, or I think it's seam lines, or it could be stitch lines. It could just be a stitch. I think it is seam lines. It's really really interesting. Um, yeah, no, they are, it is seam lines. Um, I just think it's really fantastic. Obviously, this is the most complicated of the patterns, so if you're a kind of more, a, more in the beginner department, start towards the beginning of the book, and if you feel like you want to take on a big project, then this looks like it could be absolutely, well, it'd be goddamn sexy, let's be honest, guys. Um, yeah, this is, is just beautiful. And I love that it's, and it's on the cover as well. So if you want to be the cover girl, that is the one to make. Um, yeah, I mean, this book kind of sells itself, if I'm being honest with you. It's really, really fantastic. Um, the one thing I realized I haven't mentioned is the sizing. So they have got UK 6 to UK 22. That's the sizing range for this pattern book. Um, the other thing that we thought, because I know some people might not be sure whether they want to invest in the entire book and they want to try a named pattern before they do that. We have done a roundup on the blog of some of our favorite named um, patterns. So you can go and have a look and see kind of what they've done in the past. You can see kind of their most popular ones. We've kind of grouped together some really, really popular ones. Right, that is it from me. I'm gonna love you and leave you and I will be back soon with another video. Bye.